Good morning everyone. We are back at Knott's Berry Farm today for our weekly update and lunch and we already ate breakfast because you know we have to start with a burrito. Today it was chorizo. It was delicious. So we missed last week here at Knott's because I was at Midsummer Scream, the three-day Halloween and horror convention at the Long Beach Convention Center. All things spooky and horror. There are hundreds of vendors. Uh, slider show from Decayed Brigade, the sliders here at Knott's. There are haunted houses, all sorts of fun things, plus the panel discussions from all the local theme parks. And of course, Not Scary Farm is there giving us just a little tease into their 50th anniversary coming up here in a few weeks. The presentation was hysterical, by the way, thanks to Carl Bush, merchandise manager. But also there was Ted Doherty, Ken Parks, uh, Jeff Shattuck, who does all the park decor, props to him. And then also John Cook, one of the maze designers. So while they didn't give us a lot of insight into the mazes, we did meet a new character called The Keeper, who is modeled after Seymour, who was from the very first Halloween haunt back in the 70s. He hosted a television show and was kind of his idea to do a Halloween party here at Knott's. So that character is modeled after him. We got to meet his two daughters. Great presentation there. And we also learned about a legacy store that is opening in the Emporium out in the marketplace. So we'll show you some of that construction. There is a preview event that is taking place August 24th that sold out within a matter of minutes this Monday, but we will be there to cover the entire event and give you a little look at some of that merchandise. If you didn't see the panel presentation, we put up the entire presentation here on the channel. We'll put a link down in the description. But until then, we're going to go walk around, see what construction is going on. Uh, there are some ride updates here at Camp Snoopy. A few have been removed. One is being uh, refurbished. And then there are a few other rides that are down too. So let's go explore here at Knott's Berry Farm. And that was a two minute intro. So if you're still listening, thank you. <laughs> we'll start our update here in Camp Snoopy, Woodstock's airmail is either down for refurbishment or they're moving it. This happened a couple weeks ago, so work walls are up next to the airmail. And we'll show you some additional construction that has been going on here in Camp Snoopy over where the Timberline Twister and the camp bus was. We just peeked through the fence. We don't like to show things on the other side of walls in the video if it's not clearly visible from the midway. And it doesn't look like anything's been done back there since they removed it a couple weeks ago. Also around the corner is some um, build for Scary Farm. But the walls are pretty high up here. You can see they go all the way up. So we're gonna try to ride the stagecoach later, see some of the construction that's clearly visible from the stagecoach over there <clears throat> and see what's going on here in this maze. And this year uh, was Pumpkin Eater last year and the previous years. Pumpkin Eater was one of my favorites. So I was kind of sad to see that go, but you know, they rotate them every few years. And I think this is gonna be a good one. So we'll see. My assumption here would be that this is some sort of bungee character or a huge animatronic, but again, just an assumption. We'll find out in a few weeks. Our next update brings us to this area of Camp Snoopy where the Timberline Twister roller coaster and the camp bus have been removed to make way for a new unannounced, unnamed attraction. We're assuming it's gonna be a family coaster of some sorts that everybody can fit on comfortably but nothing has been announced. So right now the Timberline Twister and Camp Bus have been removed off the website. So they are officially gone and whether Woodstock's airmail is being moved over here or not is still up for debate, but that is currently closed. Again, we don't like to shoot through fences or behind walls, but you can kind of see clearly there that the gazebo area and that whole play area have been removed, but Mount Charlie Brown with Snoopy is still there. You can see right there, Mount Charlie Brown is still there but it looks like everything else has been removed back there. So you can clearly see through there. That is actually a big area and the trees have been spared at least for now. Uh, Rapid River Run is still open as is Pig Pen's Mug Buggies and the Ferris Wheel. So the only three rides affected right now are Woodstock's Airmail, like I said, the Timberline Twister and Camp Bus, but everything else is still open. So I know a lot of people have been worried online that there aren't, isn't anything for their kids to do, but everything else is still open inside of Camp Snoopy, including the theater and the meet and greet space. We'll do our first Fiesta Village update here in Camp Snoopy. No movement here on Montezuma, uh, at least it doesn't look like it. No open date set. We're not sure why this is down, but it has been down for a few weeks, La Revolucion. So that is currently closed. So Fiesta Village, we have La Revolucion 
and Montezuma's Revenge. Everything else is open. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, there is one more closure. Hang on. It appears Soul Spin is also down, and this was actually on the sign out front, I forgot. So in Fiesta Village, we've got Montezuma, Soul Spin, and La Revolution are closed. And the ops today on Jaguar are like amazing because they keep going by every five seconds. Over here on the Fiesta Village stage, it looks like the Bob Baker marionettes are no longer performing. So I'm not sure if that was contractually that they were supposed to end at a specific time or they've been cut, but they are not on the schedule. And Calle Celebración, which I've noticed for this week, was only Saturday and Sunday. So that was cut back as well. I just love all the work they've done over here in Fiesta Village and it looks super clean today too. For all of those looking to get their carne asada french fry kick, Papas Mexicanas has opened finally. I think it was two weekends ago? Two weekends ago, I think, this opened. We have not eaten there yet and we are going to the grill today. So if you've eaten the fries there, comment below. I know there's several different versions that you can get. The yuca fries, sweet potato, waffle, or regular fries, plus the variety of toppings. Jen just corrected me. The big debate online is it yucca fries or yucca fries? Yucca is something different. So if it's yucca, it's not. There's a yucca though. So comment below. I don't know. Construction continues on this Fiesta Village sign, which seems to be taking quite a while. But I see that light fixtures have been attached, and the outside has been finished. So maybe it just needs one more coat of paint, and then it should be done. Over here at Accelerator, the spool of something got delivered a couple weeks ago, but again, no update, but Knott's promised to have it open during the summer, according to an OC Register article. Fingers crossed. It is Sunday around 10.30, and this is the current crowd level here at Knott's. It looks like the Sky Cabin queue line has been repainted the wall. It was peeling for a while, so this looks really nice. Only things like this I would notice, but yes, I did notice that. Look at that. <laughs> At this year's Scary Farm, the 50th, there are going to be 10 mazes. One is going to be inside of here. This was Dark Ride, but Dark Ride was retired last year. No word. We haven't even heard any rumors of what's going to be in here, but we just went up on the Sky Cabin and saw some wood. Only Jen and I would come to a theme park and spend the whole day looking for wood and construction, but we saw it. And a big shout out to David. He is one of our absolute favorite ride ops here at Knott's. Always super friendly, informative, talks to you and back in Sky Cabin today. So, hey David, if you're watching this. The music is super loud today. Behind Accelerator is Mesmer Returning Maze. We saw some movement back there too, and there was somebody working on some of the parts for Accelerator, so fingers crossed. We'll put in that video clip right here from on top of the Sky Cabin. Here in the arcade underneath Berry Tales, we have a maze being built for Scary Farm. And it looks like this may be the entrance, or the exit, I'm sorry, over here in these curtains, but where is the entrance and what is the theme of the maze? We're thinking something Goring 20s related, kind of maybe underground speakeasy. We'll see. You can see where they've walled off and there's actually speakers up there. So again, where this starts, where it ends, we're not sure. We're sitting on the train and there's nobody on it, but I was at work happy hour the other night and my boss said these were the ugliest sunglasses he had ever seen and wanted to know where I got them. And I told him I got them at the Rite Aid in La Cunada and they were buy one, get one free, and the other pair already broke. So even if he doesn't like them, these will probably break within about two weeks also. But I don't think they're ugly. I think they're actually kind of cool. I mean, I can rock pretty much anything, but comment below, do you like these or not? Uh-oh. Are you putting me on a wanted cluster? Yes, America's Most Wanted. We just got off the stagecoach where we had a nice ride with Tim and Mary from Knott's Network and David from Adventures with David. And now we're eating at the Ghost Town Grill, which opened a few minutes late today. And they have a new specials menu in addition to their regular menu. They have Southwest corn chowder, chili cheese fries, a chicken poblano lettuce wrap, that sounds good. Strawberry field salad, pulled pork sandwich, nacho burger, a cookie bottom brownie, peach michelada, and a cucumber sabe gin and tonic. I know right now Jen is getting the cucumber sabe gin and tonic, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do a salad today, but that wrap sounds really good, so I'm going to give that a try. So while we were on the stagecoach, we were able to see the construction of Camp Snoopy, and we also saw the construction of the maze where Pumpkin Eater used to be. So we'll edit that in as I'm talking, waiting for our server to come out. We saw Carolyn in there today. I don't know who else is here, so 
Just gonna keep talking because we're editing that video right about now. <laughs> and the stagecoach stopped while we're going up the hill, so we got a few extra seconds of video there too. While that clip is playing, uh, Carolyn just brought us our chicken noodle soup, Mrs. Knott's famous chicken noodle soup. You can get it here at the grill today. The soup changes daily. Usually you have an indication of what it is. Whatever soup is being served at the bakery, one of the two is usually here at Mrs. Knott at Ghost Town Grill. And it is chicken noodle today. These are the new menu item, those lettuce wraps with chicken chimichurri a poblano aioli, I believe. These are absolutely delicious. I forgot there's pickled onions on there too. I love pickled onions. These are good. This is the cookie bottom brownie from the Ghost Town Grill menu and we split it in half because Jen and I are splitting it so this is half of it. And you can get it all mode or not but the ice cream doesn't always agree with me. Let's give this a try. So it is a chocolate chip cookie on the bottom and a brownie on the top. <laughs> With the Emporium and the Marketplace being transformed into the Scary Farm Legacy Store, all the Department 56 Christmas items have been moved here into Virginia's in the back room across from Starbucks, and the Halloween stuff is right in the center of the store. There is exclusive Department 56 Knott's Berry Farm merchandise. This is the Mary Farm billboard, and then of course we've got the Statue Cowboys, Handsome Brady and Whiskey Jim, and there is Walter and Cordelia. And there are Scary Farm versions too. And what's down here? Oh, the Boys and Berry Pie Stand. I'm gonna end this video here in front of the Emporium, soon to be the Haunt Legacy Store. They'll be open during the day through the marketplace, and then in the evening only through the Scary Farm. So check that out. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we'll be here opening night of this legacy store. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that button with the notification bell turned on. And then follow us on social media at the Funnel Cake Blog. Until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hiya, fringies. We'll see you at the 50th anniversary of Not Scary Fun. <laughs>